All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm just waiting for Josh to get here. Um, we're going uh, down on the Kennebec River tonight. We're going to go do some smelting, and we're going to Baker's Smelt Camps. And basically, if you've never been smelting before on the Kennebec, um, they have a couple of uh, businesses down there that have the shacks all set up for you. You basically just call and reserve a shack for the night, and when you get there, they have the fire going. It's nice and toasty in there. You basically just sit down and start fishing. The Kennebec River is tidal all the way up through Augusta, Maine. So uh, usually you fish either the in or outgoing tide and you're there for quite a while. So we're going at 940 at night and basically what we're going to do, we're just going to bring a few little ice rods and um, we're going to use some rigs, sort of like sabiki rigs. We will use a couple sabiki rigs and a couple that I tied myself that are similar to those. Again, we're late in the season right now, I'm not really expecting too much, but I'd like to get at least one fish just to uh, cook it up and eat it, just so we can get it on video, but uh, we'd like to get a whole bunch of them, but we'll see you when Josh gets here. Well, folks, good old main tradition, we're going smelting on the Kennebec River. It's gonna be a late night. Hopefully we're gonna hammer some smelts. Of course we gotta get some Duncan first. Jack number eight. Look at all the jacks out here. Bunch of shacks. Well, this is it. It ain't much, but it's home. <laughs> the house lines up here. Probably want to the race waves. You got pliers. Didn't get set up, and uh, I didn't bring pliers. The old custom smell rigs. Look at those. Hand tied by yours truly. <laughs> Knot it up. It's two of them, that's why. When you buy expensive stuff, Josh, you spend more time friggin' with it than you do fishing, okay? <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. Here we go, this is the bait. Everybody's favorite part. That is cranking on <sighs> Sandworms. Here he is. First thing you want to do is cut the head off because he'll bite the crap out of you if you don't. Use that for bait. Cut them up in real small pieces. Real small, real small. Real small. Just gonna hook a little piece on. A little bit of meat on each one of these. Alright. The weight on the bottom. Drop it down. Right off the <laughs> Nothing. Had a couple bumps. Josh is yummying down on his extra mayo. Extra mayo. Oh, yeah. Brookie fever. Wicked contagious. That's right. And a little fly right there. Check, check, your, check your fly, Josh. Oh, did you miss him? Look at that reel. <laughs> Damn, I saw you had him for a second though. Hey buddy, look. Here's what we got going on tonight. Well, folks, we got dinner. One smelt. Smelt it, so he dealt it. Beautiful Kennebec River smelt. A couple more. Had a fish fry. Got it on the old JT Panhandler. 
<laughs> Update. It's midnight. Caught one fish. <laughs> We're gonna be cooking it up soon though, so don't you worry. Those who smelt it though. We brought a little brought a little backup because we knew this might happen. Remember that crappy video where I was filleted him out at the end? It's called Crappy for Dinner. Here they are. They don't get any fresher than that. We like to just cut the head right off. Just like that. Go from the anus right up the belly, slit it open. Let the knife is bigger than the fish by like two times. <laughs> Should have brought a pocket knife. The crappie. Gonna dump those in the bag. Bloop. Bloop. Bloop, bloop. It ain't much, but it's enough for a snack. Get some oil in there, get it heated up. <laughs> Alright. Toss a nice crop eye filet on there. Look at that. Oh my god. Tell you what, breadcrumbs, a little uh, seasoned salt, garlic powder, a secret ingredient. Love. And there it is. Nice little curled up smelt, nice crunchy skin on it, nice crappie. Tastes just like a fish stick. I know season is pretty good. Watch this. When you get a. Yep. Pull the backbone right out of the thing. And voila. You know what you do with that? Nothing. You don't eat that. <laughs> Got everything? Oh, yeah. Alright. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> My only excuse is that we went too late in the year. It's my only excuse. Oh, I'm so tired. Not really the best night of smelting we've ever had. I think we were really uh, a little too late in the season to get uh, some of the good runs coming up through. Um, we went last year earlier in the season got over a hundred in just an hour and a half so and today we were there for three hours three and a half hours we get two fish so but that's fishing if you like this video give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe we'll see you later